Hi folks, Peter Lawn here. Today I'm going to show you a new mod for creating circular buildings in the game Icarus First Cohort. You may have seen some of my other videos on methods for building circular structures without mods, uh, as well as other circular mod tools I've created, uh, including the strange but effective deployable miter box style circle and angle guides. However, they all lack um, precise and consistent methods for constructing circular buildings in the game until now. This new mod was built with the help from user JimK72, who figured out how to create um, a new building grid within the game using the Unreal Editor system. Uh, so thanks, Jim, for putting up with my non-stop questions on how this is accomplished. Uh, we'll start by deploying a vertical beam at a location that will be the center of our building. It should be a reasonably flat area. Make sure you are in free placement mode um, like this. And uh, if you're not in that free placement mode, just use the home key to toggle snap to grid. We can use any style of vertical beams, although I prefer to use concrete. The uh, build menu for this mod is brought up by pointing at the center vertical beam while deploying another vertical beam in free placement mode. Right mouse click to bring up the menu. With the menu up, you can see two main functional sections. This first one on the left is for building the circle templates for pre-selected building sizes and style, and the one on the right for basic angle and distance beam placement from the center beam position. Let's first review this section on the left, um, where we can you know, start by selecting a wall style, single or double outside walls through this drop-down box, uh, and then we can adjust a spin box for entering the number of walls needed in our build. Additional info will automatically be calculated, such as approximate building diameter, angle of rotation, and number of beams out from the outside wall or railing. The tool will build a template circle of vertical beams that will be positioned perfectly for our circular build, and you do the rest. Let's set up the template for a 12-sided building. After adjusting the number of walls, just click on the Build Circle Beams button and the first beam will be placed for us. Make note of the number of beams out to wall railing in this information box here. In this case, it's one. As this is how many horizontal beams we need to extend out in the direction we are facing uh, to get to the wall position. After placing this first piece, I like to extend a horizontal beam to mark this first beam position like this. Make sure you stay uh, within the build system, otherwise the parameters will get reset and you will need to start from the beginning. We'll then repoint at the center beam again and bring up the menu and click on the build circle beams button again to continue building the circular beam template. It remembers the last position and just adds the angle and uh, drops in the next piece. Rinse and repeat to complete the entire circle template. Once the circle template is all complete, we will switch to building uh, grid snap mode, um, and then remember that's the home key, and extend all our beams out for each vertical template beam. Once our beams are extended and supported as necessary, we can begin placing floor sections. We do this by attaching a floor piece to the right of the furthest beam. This is important to get the wall sections matching up properly. We have the outside floor section ring built. You can work your way around to fill in the remaining floors, bringing each floor ring back towards the center of the building. With the floor pieces completed and supports in place, you can remove the floor beams and place the walls along the outside edge. You can see the walls will meet rather nicely for a perfectly constructed 12-sided building.
There's also a checkbox in the menu called Reduce Texture Flicker, which when enabled will reduce the amount of texture overlap flickering that you see on the floors. This is especially prevalent with concrete and other floor textures other than stone. All right, so let's quickly look at the difference between a single wall, which we just built, and a double wall. Um, if we pick that, and we're gonna, let's say we'll pick, uh, we're gonna pick um, uh, a 12-sided building as well. And um, we're gonna build this one out here. And you're gonna see, instead of going like an offset, like the, the other uh, single wall building, this goes straight out. So we're actually gonna be building beams straight out from here with our floor pieces on either side of these beams. So you have basically two walls on, on the edge of each um, um, building side. So um, here we're gonna just uh, build out these and we're gonna see the difference in how we do that. Let's quickly build this circle. So the right mouse button and build it out like that. Perfect, perfect uh, layout. And then what you do in this case now um, is we actually uh, go straight out. And in this case, when we were looking at the uh, thing, it says you have to build the walls out to three walls out to the to the or three horizontal beams out to the railing and wall side of things for a 12 sided double wall arrangement. Um, so what we'll do is we'll bring three out um, from here and uh, put that like that. And then we're going to build that out on each, you know, on each one of these beams, right? So I'm not going to make you watch me do the whole thing, but you get the idea. Um, and then what we do is we'll do three of them and then I'll show you the, uh, how that works. One, two, three. And... Um, if we go over here, we're going to place our floors now. Uh, let's go six, and we'll do one on each side of these beams. Instead of starting on the right-hand side, we just do one on each side. And like so. And then when we place our walls, you'll see sort of the difference of that. Uh, let's go eight. So this is going to uh, look a little differently. And you can see now there's like two walls um, on either side of the of the beam for perfectly flush 12-sided um, buildings. Now this building is going to be a lot bigger in diameter than a 12-sided building single wall, obviously. Um, but you get the idea. And that's probably one of the reasons why um, I decided to, you know, basically limit the this this build arrangement to um i think 24 sides let me just have a look here um if we go seven yeah if you pick um double wall you can only go up to 24 sided buildings and that's about like a 15 floor uh diameter so it's a fairly large size building that's as big as a, a 48 sided single single wall building so just be aware of that the build is a little bit differently floors on either side for this build and uh, floors on the right hand side um, of of uh, the beams on this build all right let's review the other build option in the menu called build out from center Point at this beam, deploy another one, and right mouse click uh, to bring up the menu again. Because I'm starting a new build, click on the Reset Build Settings button and ensure we're starting with a fresh beginning. This Build Out From Center section provides a method to simply place a beam at a certain distance and rotation from a center beam with slight adjustment of step height if desired. Let's pick about 150 units for distance. This is about half of a floor piece, which is normally 300 by 300 units. And then we'll pick a step of uh, 20 and a rotation of 20 degrees. We click the build from center button and right mouse button click to bring up the menu again, rinse and repeat. And you can see we got this uh, really cool little pattern that, um, that you can do all sorts of design things with. In another application, um, you might want to start a new grid um, that turns your building. In this case, I would just simply bring up the menu, reset our settings, and point at the at the beam, a corner beam, and dial in the desired angle and build. And you can see it'll build another beam right on top of the existing beam, but at a different angle. Now I can just drop a floor and a wall, 
and we have a new angle to run our building length down. Uh, being able to precisely control your building placement um, allows you to be able to do all sorts of things that just looked crappy before. For example, building a perfect triangle building is easy with any number of sides. Or here's another example of placing four beams in perfect position in it, uh, you know, as an extra thick beam. When I designed this mod, I didn't limit which pieces you could use. So take care trying out um, other build items and configurations. Uh, you might lose a few pieces <laughs> experimenting. Um, this mod builds a new grid system each time you place a new piece. And so therefore all the rules around building support still applies. Uh, partially burying a part of the new building piece created in the ground is still a requirement for proper support for the rest of your building structure. All right, folks, that's it for now. I hope this mod will unlock your creativity and really help to build that perfect round base. See the links below um, for where to get this mod and others I've created. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more fun stuff with Icarus.